Hey guys, just wanted to show you a couple things in case you were out or you just needed a refresher. Um, we've been working on photo merging in Photopea. So a reminder that when you're putting something in, um, always start with a new document so you can control the size and layout. We've been working in 8.5 by 11, which is the size of a sheet of copy paper, or you, know, you can flip that for either landscape or portrait. Make sure you're in inches though, not pixels. So whenever you are working in that document, anything you want to put in, make sure you do an open in place so you're not making a whole new document, you're just placing within. So I have my first image in here, and I'm going to go ahead and use my anchors to enlarge it, um, but I can always click on my arrow here and my transform controls if I want to change that. I can also rotate with this little icon right here, um, or I can do a two-finger click and... Um, and I can flip it, which it's not working right now. So I'm gonna get rid of that and open it and place it again to show you. So we'll put that back in. So if I do a two finger click, I should have this option before I've, you know, set it in place where I can rotate it and I can do like a horizontal flip and all of that. So if you want to do that, do that before you start working. So I'm going to go ahead and just enlarge it a little bit. Um, make sure we're doing a diagonal pull instead of distorting the image by pulling up or pulling across. Um, so some of the tools that we talked about are and then just adjustments. And those are gonna be some of our basic, like we can make something black and white, we can make something brighter, we can make something um, have more contrast, lighter, darker, adjust exposure, um, all of those things. So if you haven't played around there, definitely do. Um, we can also make a photo filter, which allows us to um, make the whole picture one color. Like I could make it blue, or I could make it red, or I could make it yellow. Um, so those are all things that we played around with. Um, other tools that we have, also, um, if it ever asks you to rasterize, come here to layer, and you can rasterize right here. It just means that you're making an image file, so easy peasy. Um, we also talked about removing parts of an image. So like, let's say that I don't want the water in this scene, um, and I could use my eraser tool for that. That would be one of my tools. Um, I can adjust the size of it as needed, and I can control how soft or hard the edge is if I want to. Um, and I can zoom way in, um, way in to get like details by doing like a control plus to get, you know, all the little, little spots that I need. So that could erase my background. Um, I can also use my quick selection tool and I can select parts of the image and then later I can hit backspace and delete them. Um, another thing that I can do is I can go to select and I can inverse um, and then that does the opposite. So I didn't actually want to do that. So I'm going to edit undo and so forth. Um, the other thing that I can do is I can use magic cut if I have something with a lot of contrast and um, that will automatically cut the image out for me like so. Now it only works if I have a lot of contrast um, and I can use the green to add to the image. Um, another thing to remember is that you have layers, you can move them as needed. So I'm going to go ahead and put another image by open and placing. So I'm going to put this other image of New York in there. And I can resize it, but I can also change the order of the layers really easily by um, clicking and dragging them. So I can move New York behind my first image. Um, and so now I see Anna and New York. Um, and I can also adjust the opacity of each layer. So say I want to see both at the same time, I could go onto this layer and adjust how see-through it is um, by using my slider if I want to see a little bit of both. Make sure that when we're saving, if we want it to see or stay with all our layers, we save as a PSD. Um, but if you're wanting to just save it as a JPEG, then 